Well, hey, Deb. Yeah, honey, I'm all right. I mean, but I tell you, finding out that little hot thing down at Wayne's is the same little fat baby I used to push around in a stroller. Well, hell, that was a 220 shock of reality. I'll tell you what, there's a whole generation of men that ain't available to me. Then again, it wouldn't be so bad to be a cougar. Oh, I know it, hush. But hell, the next time I'm interested in a younger man, I'm going to make damn sure I was never his babysitter. But, you know, I got to draw the line somewhere. And there's a difference between being a cougar and a pervert. And hell, Pickle ain't much older than little Ronnie. Well, Deb, honey, are you crying? Well, what's the matter? Oh, honey, little Ronnie is growed up. I mean, golly, he's 18. He's about to be a senior in high school. Oh, Deb, he's always going to be your baby. Yeah, but, honey, instead of missing your baby, just focus on the young man he is. I mean, golly, Deb, he's always done good in school. Ain't never giving no trouble. He's respectful. He's responsible. You raised a fine young man, honey. And for all the stupid shit Ronnie does, I mean, he's a good daddy. Yeah, y'all both done a good job, hun. What? Oh, little Ronnie got a job. Well, dang, Deb, that's wonderful news, hun. And all the more reason to be proud. Well, Deb, are you still crying? Well, what is it? Oh, well, he is going to need something to drive. But, honey, y'all Buick has been out there on blocks till the grass has growed up on it. What's it going to take to fix it? Well, why don't you ask Ronnie, and hell, I'll pay for it. Well, yeah, little Ronnie's got to have something to drive, honey. Oh, he's going to save up my car. Well, I'll tell you what, for every dollar he saves, I'll match it. Yeah, I will. Yes, I will, too, Deb. I'm going to help him out. Well, is he home? Well, you tell him I'm going to come get him, because we're going to ride down to the bank right now and open us a savings account. All right, then. I'll see you in a little bit. Bye.